Hey, hey guys. Okay. Got something. Had another experience last night. Oh man, here it is. Okay, uh. Oh, it's autumn. The farmers are running around. Ooh. Everybody's busy. Oh, farmers are happy. Okay, so right after I got done the last video, and I was talking to you guys about dealing with violence, you know, um, people, my my issue. You watch the last video. This will be part two to it. But anyway, so I came home last night. I'm watching the hockey game, and I can hear somebody talking, like chanting and talking, a big speech, all monotone. One, but I, I thought it was like the neighbors were partying or something. Somebody was talking. And it was going you know, like that at that that pitch, and it lasted for like two periods. After the hockey game, I watched a Z Nation. It was still going on, a couple episodes. I went to bed. It was still going on. I put my earplugs in to go to sleep. JC and the family, my spirit guides or whatever, family, they said, they, you wouldn't believe, you didn't even believe this. They said, you're going to be a priest within an hour we're doing a, a ritual on you a, a ritual of some kind of ritual and all that chanting was them doing the ritual on me and you're going to be a priest and I'm like well nice of you to ask right and I got kind of pissy about it and I got kind of scared because fine print you know and I'm like and I, he goes, no sex for a month. Oh, like, I got you beat. <laughs> right? So I'm not supposed to have sex for a month. Um, he goes, <laughs> I go, I don't think that would be a problem. <laughs> anyway, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, so I immediately started bitching at him. That's what I did. I started bitching at him. And saying, what about the fine print? I want to know what that means. Like, what do I got to do? Do I got to, like, sit around and chant and splash around holy water on people? And he goes, no, you ain't got to do nothing like that. You know, like a priest in a church. I'm like, is that what I'm going to be? And he goes, no, no. He goes, we, he goes, you got to become a priest before we can teach you what we're going to teach you. And I go, more lessons? And he goes, yeah. He goes. Because I'm going to teach you to uh, have no fear and how to deal with demons and evil, evil people. Because remember the video yesterday I was I was telling you about was telling you about a video yesterday where evil people, demon people in their heads, sick people in their heads that want to fight and do violence and spiritual demons, bad people, he goes, by the time I'm done with you, you'll fear nothing. And he goes, it's going to take a month, within a month. He goes, it's going to be about a month. And it's starting at the end of the week. So tomorrow, he's going to start doing this to me, teaching me, giving me dreams and stuff. And he goes, you're going to have to confront the ultimate evil. And he goes, but first, I'm going to, he goes, there's lessons you got to learn to quiet your mind. He goes, you're going to be able to, he goes, you're going to quiet your mind. You can sit in a tornado and be at peace within yourself while demons are all around you and they can't touch you. And because of the power of Christ, after this ritual, we're going to do on you. And I'm like, geez. I don't remember all the words he said. There was so much. And there was other priests around. There was a bunch of Jesuses. And they were all talking to me. But him I could hear really clear. Because he has a big voice. A big voice. And uh, 
So now I'm a priest. But I don't think I gotta be like preaching to people. I'm just, I had to become a priest to partake in the lessons to get what I needed from being a Christian. They made me a priest and they go, it's already started, you got no choice, you can't back out. Oh my God. All right, whatever, as long as I don't have to, as long as you, you ain't gonna do something I don't know about. Like, you know what I mean? Like the fine print. So anyway, I'm a priest now, spiritually. I ain't, I don't know what it means to be a priest, like all the things you gotta do and everything. But spiritually, with Christ in heaven, I'm a priest. Right now. I don't, I haven't learned anything, no lessons yet. But the reason I made this video is to tell you guys, this is what happens when you're in Christ consciousness and you're moving up. And you need to learn things. They just make you a priest and you learn the lessons. I couldn't have learned these lessons. He said, I couldn't have learned these lessons without becoming a priest. These lessons are specifically for priests. When a priest becomes a priest in the spirit world, maybe here in the physical too, I don't know. I think the physical is a totally different thing to become a priest in the physical. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not religious in the least. I know nothing about it. But he made me a priest. So in the spirit world, I'm a priest. What that means when I die is another thing. I ain't walking around with no collar on and I'm playing hockey. I'm going to look for Bigfoot when I'm dead. <laughs> a lot of other cool things. I ain't playing priest boy. So he says it's going to give me a whole bunch of protections I need and calm my mind down where I'm being confronted on the street by a bunch of thugs like you know bad guys like really bad guys like imagine a cop he's got a gun pointed at your head and he's he's got the syphilis brain you know a little bit of psycho in him one wrong move you know how they do that they go you're under arrest quit resisting quit resisting and meanwhile you're on your ground you're on the ground laying on your stomach with your hands on your head and he's got the gun pointed at you beating you and you're going quit resisting them type of people rotten evil people not just saying cops but you know general rotten people he says I'll be able to fucking deal with them spiritually and have no fear and stuff like that so you know when you're walking on the street and you gotta confront demon people crazy people supposedly I'll be able to do that anyway that was last night, and that was really short from what happened. It lasted like fucking five hours. And he was telling me all about this. So I got, I'm going to be, he's going to teach me how to clear my mind of all the crap, all the fear, all the, all the stuff, and focus on one thing where I can be up peace within myself peace within myself while violence is going all on all around me like you know I still may get killed but at least I'm not gonna be a one of them crazy people running around going to ape shit anyway so I had to become a priest to learn these lessons, but I don't think I got to do any priest stuff. I'm not here in the physical anyway. So that's kind of nice. And uh, that's about it. The reason I made this video is because I'm going to take you through the steps. Everything I learn, I'm going to tell you what happened. So about this priest thing. So they just made me a priest. Because first I had to, you know, um, but last year, I had to submit my innocence to Christ, right? Embrace Christ, which means your innocence, embrace it. That was a challenge. I had a whole crap load of lessons I had to learn. And I moved up 
Then I then they made me a Christ. I'm now a Christ. Then they moved me up. I or I moved myself up with the lessons and passing the lessons all the way up to the second level in the light. And then now they make me a priest. So I guess you got to become a Christ before you become a priest. I thought it was the other way around, but I guess not. I never asked for it. I didn't even know nothing about it. I'm watching a damn hockey game. I put my earplugs in, lay down, and you're now a priest. And I go, what the hell's all the chanting and noise and talking? Because we're doing rituals on you. Yeah, and there's another word he said, ritual, and uh, another word. I forgot what it was. Something to do like rituals and blessings and stuff like that. But anyway... The long and the short of it, I'm now a priest. I don't know what that means. But he's going to teach me the lessons. And sort of like, you know, like Buddha, Buddha people do, like uh, monks, like a monk. You know how they quiet their minds and they sit there in meditation and he says it's like that. I had that. Oh, yeah, and just when he got done the thing and he was talking to me today, I was talking to him, I had a snooze after lunch, and uh, I saw him, and he's standing there, and he had a Roman, like, skirt, you know how it comes down around your waist and has the little pointies, like leather straps come down around your waist, and he had a big staff with a spear on the end of it. And he had a helmet, a metal helmet on his head. And he looked like a Roman guy. And he had the leather chest thing with some kind of, it was reddish, dark red. And had some kind of symbol on the front. I haven't looked it up on Google. But he had a metal thing on his head with a thing that came down on his third eye. And it strapped around his head, came down the sides. And he's standing there with a big staff, and he was telling me, and I'm looking, I'm going, are you like a Roman soldier or something? And uh, he didn't have a big red cross, so I know he wasn't a Crusades guy, but he seemed like a an important Christ guy in Rome. Well, that's the way he was dressed anyway. And he had like the, the, the dress... It was like a dress that came down to about their knees and it had these, and it was pieces that came down. I don't know if you watch Roman battle shows, you'll see them. But anyway, I'm looking at him and he's standing there and the fucking power coming off this guy. He was standing over me and you could just feel it for like a hundred miles. Just the power coming off. And I think what he was doing was he was showing me what I will be when I get through these lessons. And it's like, I just saw you saw a UFO. Silver flash, anyway. Anyway, I'm out here doing CE5s all afternoon. Just sitting here filming jets and things and stuff. I ain't seen nothing, but I never see them. I film, I, I film the jets going by and the, uh, ET craft will fly up to the contrail, chemtrail. So I filmed the whole contrail, the jet, and everything. And there's a train coming back from Blenheim. I'm going to film that way out in the cornfield. That's cool. I've done it before. So, anyway, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, anyway, the power coming off this guy was huge. And it's like, he goes, he said, I'm going to confront the ultimate evil in dream space, spirit world, whatever. That's one of the lessons. And I go, dude, I don't know the ultimate evil, but and it's a pretty scary shit already happening. He goes, I know. I read your, I read your portfolio. <laughs> I don't know, he didn't say portfolio, <laughs> whatever it is, my record, my experiences.
anyway guys so I'm gonna walk you through what I learned with these lessons when you become a priest in heaven so hey I'll try to do it as best I can but it starts tomorrow so I'll tell you I'll make videos as they happen I like making videos out here it's a little more quiet it calms me down sit by the tree and it's nice and calm I can talk better and think better in the house it's like superficial you know it's not right anyway I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do when winter comes I have to do it in the house I guess so that's that it's gotta be seven o'clock now I'll show you some sky or what I was filming today if I get anything I'll post it UFO -y. I'll, I'll post it for you for sure there's my sky right there this is what I've been filming I asked for for this C5 I was asking for a stationary object shining shining in the sky in the sun He's done it before, but I haven't seen nothing. And I was also asking for uh, for him to follow the chemtrails and contrails of the jets. And they do that. He does that a lot. I got some good ones like that. But there is not one cloud, not one chemtrail, like persistent chemtrail. So I got there's nothing for me to uh, film in the sky. And what happens is, if I have a, like a contrail or a chemtrail. A persistent one I'll just film it constantly back and forth back and forth and he'll bring the bring the spheres right to it here I don't know where to look I don't know what to do so I asked for a stationary and but I didn't see nothing yet who knows maybe the big one big red ones waiting right now I don't know but it's getting late it's getting cold i gotta go i ain't leaving but i'm waiting for that train better come back tonight so guys i'm a priest now and i don't know what to do about it except wait for the lessons which i'm gonna do I'm, i told him like i was really confused and pissed off like I didn't want to. I'm like, more stuff I gotta do. And he goes, it's endless. He goes, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't started. And I go, yeah, but I'm trying to live in reality. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's hard enough living this in reality. I'm worrying about my spirit. And he goes, and then I got, he goes, yeah, but you're unique. You're learning this in the physical. And it's in your best interest if you do it now in the physical he flipped out I was talking to him I said I said to him I said to him hey during all these lessons if I don't pass or if I don't excel in a certain lesson I want you to take me back and repeat the lesson until I learn it really good he started crying he was freaking out he goes, that's what I want to hear from you. That's what I want to hear from you. I'm like, Jesus, okay, coach, take it easy. <laughs> it's not Stanley Cup. <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. He's like coaching me and everything. I go, you know, I go, well, I got to go through it. So I want to learn this shit, right? So if I'm going to, if I have to go through it, send me back, send me back, send me back until I learn it. He flipped out. <laughs> fucking guy, fucking Roman guy standing there. He's a, he's a Christ. He's Christ. But he's teaching me how to be a priest. 
So I don't know if he's a priest. I don't know why I saw him as a Roman. Like a Roman general or something. I don't know. But <laughs> that made me laugh. He was all freaked out. He's like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. That's, that's the spirit. <laughs> that was funny. So, guys, I don't know. I'll keep you in touch what happens. And, uh, spent my Sunday afternoon looking for UFOs. Taking pictures. I think there's a hockey game, but not the Leafs tonight. Anyway, I should go end this video. So, talk to you later, guys.